Hey, how's it going all you most amazing people? I'm your host for today, Landon Dallas Singh. You guys already know that. And welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys like our channel, don't forget to subscribe. We are on the road to 4 million and on the road to 1 billion views. So before we get started, I just want to let you guys know of our most amazing shop. It's our online store where you can get the hottest merch, t-shirts, sweaters, whatever you want. Head over to mostamazingshop.com, pick up your cool products, take a picture of yourselves wearing it, send it in to us, and we'll feature you guys in a video. Okay, so it's no secret that food companies like to advertise that their products are healthy, natural, and low in calories, but they're less likely to promote that their products contain animal skin, bones, or fish bladders. I mean, what the frick is going on? So let's jump right into this. This is the top 10 gross animal ingredients that are hidden in foods, and I'm sorry if your favorite food's on this list and it has something gross in it. Okay, so starting off this list at number 10 is lanolin. I don't want to burst your bubble, but there is something disgusting hidden in your chewing gum. It's called lanolin, which is the oil sheep produce in their wool. These greasy secretions are used as a softener in foods and they're inappropriately labeled as gum based. This is disgusting. I definitely don't want sheep secretions in my gum. Next up, number nine is calcium triphosphate. This is a fancy name for bone char. Bone char is used to filter and discolor sugar. So what I'm trying to say is that every grain of delicious sugar that we all love to eat has touched the charred remains of animals. This is too much for me to handle, so let's move on. Let's go on to number eight. Number eight, we have carmine, or otherwise known as dead bugs. Yeah, that, that's right. The female cochineal insect, which I, I had to Google this one and see what the heck I'm even talking about. Well, this insect is crushed and is used as an additive to give food a red color. For those of you guys who enjoy drinking a strawberry frappuccino from Starbucks, you might want to reconsider. Head over to Tim Hortons. I'm sure they don't have food products or animal products in their stuff. They, they probably do in their jelly donuts. Carmine can also be found in cosmetics, shampoos, red applesauce, red lollipops, yogurt drinks, and food coloring. I mean, is this real life right now? I think it's safe to say to just avoid everything red. Shellac creeps into number seven. This is derived from the excretions of the Caria E. Yaka insect. Candy makers will use this secretion to make those candies that you all love so much more shiny and delicious looking. Because that's how they sell products to you. They gotta make it look appetizing, although it really isn't. There are no quality control measures put into place that would guarantee that the insects themselves aren't scooped up and added to your food. So if you're eating things with shellac in it, you're essentially eating these beetles as well. Number six, we have isinglass or isinglass. Depends on how you want to pronounce it. This is a substance that is obtained from the dried swim bladder of fish. Yum, right? <laughs> no. It is used mainly in beer and wine to give it a golden color, but it can also be cooked into a paste. Seriously, who was the one that found out that fish bladders can even do this? And whose job is it to extract fish bladder? This is so strange to me. So let's move on to the next one. We're at number five. We have a beef fat. While this probably doesn't bother people who we meet, it is still shocking and surprising to discover that our favorite childhood treats contain beef fat. Yeah, that's right. So those cupcakes or those ho-hos or Twinkies and ding-dongs and all of those things, they have beef fat in them and a lot of cake mixes as well. Maggots come in to number four. Do you guys like um, canned foods? I mean, they're very popular. You can put anything in, in, in cans and call it food. <laughs> sure, they're convenient, but did you know that canned foods often contain maggots? The FDA allows 100 maggots for every 100 grams of canned mushrooms. Oh, and fruit juice contains an average of five fruit flies per serving. And here's an extra fact to, to, to gross you guys out. Frozen or canned spinach usually has caterpillar larvae in it. This is why I knew I never liked spinach. Number three brings us to castorium. And again, this is just another fancy term for, uh, for butt gland secretions. Uh, why are we putting poop in food? And also, we're talking Talking about urine from a beaver as well. I think oh, this is just, this is absolutely crazy. This disgusting ingredient is commonly found in vanilla ice cream and raspberry flavored foods. I mean, come on. I think I've learned to just not question what's in food, and if I like it, I just eat it. But you know what, for this one, I'm actually glad I don't like vanilla. I actually like chocolate ice cream. And how the hell did we decide that it would be a good idea to add a butt juice to vanilla ice cream? 
What has the world come to? I, I don't want you guys to answer that because I, I, I don't want to know. Rennet oozes into number two. This lovely ingredient is actually calf stomach. This ingredient is used because of the enzymes that are produced in the calf stomach. These enzymes are used to make cheese because the enzyme curdles the casein in the milk. Rennet is also used to separate milk into solid curds. And finally, we're at number one here, we have a gelatin. This is one of the most common ones. This is a protein that is obtained by boiling skin, tendons, ligaments, and bones with water. Gelatin is usually gathered from cows or pigs, and it can be found in fruit gummies, jello, candies, marshmallows, cakes, ice cream, and yogurt. So basically everything good in the world has this disgusting ingredient. Well there you guys have it, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if I turned you guys off of food, but that's just the way it goes for this one. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you guys all in the next Most Amazing Top 10 video. <laughs>